What's up boys, in this video I'm going to be rating my subscribers cars. And that is right boys, we are finally back with another episode of Rate My Ride. Now to bring this series back, I hopped on a call with my good friend Top Secret R35 so we could review some subscriber car builds together. Massive shout out to Top Secret for taking the time to record with me. Every link that he has for his channel will be linked in the description if you want to go check his content out, which I highly recommend. Also, if you guys do want to take part in a future round of submissions, then be sure to follow all of the instructions in the description. Anyways, with all that covered, let's get right into the build. First off, I mean, we got a bunch of these, so this this will this will be fun. So yeah, I opened it up to any game. So normally it was just GTA 5, but now they can submit like whatever game because I don't know. GTA I'm actually cars really happy more. you did that. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it was a good play. It's better content. It's a nice variety. And plus, we get to see pretty cars like this one, dude. Exactly, dude. I actually played BeamNG the other day, and yeah. I'm proud of this guy that he says he drifts the car because yeah. that is a steep Everybody learning curve. Everybody says BeamNG drifting Beam is so hard. <laughs> this build goes tough, dude. Those tri spokes look so good. It's I actually made a note here saying the three spoke advent style wheels slap hard. <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> it I gives you it. that uh, that late '90s, early 2000s. Yeah, man. This two wheel vibes. I like that. I like the whole lore friendly part of it too. It's like not like a real life car mod. It's like its own thing, but it's like very heavily inspired. I like that. It's got. Have its you own, played BeamNG of, uh, before? I have not played BeamNG. No. Oh, okay. I yeah, no, they actually to. do really well with that like yeah. family of cars, similar to like GTA style. I want to try it out. But yeah, I love this build. I love it. Unique styling, all that stuff. Shout out Bella. What would you give this out of ten? Oh, I give it a nine man yeah i'd give it a solid nine i don't like all the text there it looks kind of busy with the text but like everything else the body kit the colors the wheels looks that looks carbon great. carbon hood looks hard yeah, as well yeah massive intercooler yeah man. beautiful love that build zell stance this guy's really talented by the way he's good with the rockstar editor and stuff he posts a lot of stuff on the gta reddit um lg retro he bought a third one and he's going for a drift missile build because it's one of the best cars to rock the look and he's actually learning to drift it respect because all-wheel drive drifting is so hard to do this is like yeah it's all the key aspects of like a drift missile build the ratty livery with the duct tape and the zip ties i don't know i feel is like rockstar vanilla yeah this is vanilla livery yeah but like I, rockstar yeah, i don't know rockstar goes nuts with the when they make a, a livery like this they go nuts like there's so much duct tape and so many zip ties but like it fits it does fit pretty well yeah now what i like about this is that like he he left the outside like the rat but then he has these beautiful yeah. tuna wheels yeah he's and the got fact the that nice they're like a little wheels. smaller as well like yeah that's always it's, been like fantasy of mine like yeah have a completely like rusted yeah man car with like perfect roll cage perfect wheels perfect brakes you know yeah this is like the the ebisu signature like old clapped out japanese car that's beat to hell and it's on the really small wheels but it's like perfectly set up and drifts extremely smooth yeah somehow does it drifts jump smooth drifts in gta like, but like <laughs> 50 feet jump drifts into yeah man i could totally see this thing doing degrees that. of angle <laughs> yeah in terms of like the styling and all that stuff all those bo the boxed fender flares too i like those yeah, yeah i man. think i'm gonna it's been a while since i've modified my uh, elegy i'm gonna go yeah see the slivery again this thing's tough it's very authentic i don't know i'd give this thing like an eight or a nine too eight or nine out of ten yeah i'm definitely on like a 8.5 nine there yeah it's dude, just this like sick. Good luck I drifting mean, at Zell, by the way. This thing is not easy to drift. Yeah. Okay, so we got Glowing Nuggets, Best Friends Club, EG, BF Club. What? <laughs> it's I have a Mark no one idea GTI. what's going on. I don't really know. <laughs> His dream car is a Volkswagen Golf GTI, and I thought I'd build one GTA. Fair enough. I think uh, he's saying that the BF stands for best friend. Yeah, maybe. okay. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so it's like real life inspired. Okay. Midnight Purple with a gasoline green pearlescent. Makes it into I a mean, really that is dark green. Put Cosmos one hell of on a, it. Yeah, one hell of a color combination, but that shit works. That's really nice. Just like under, understated, but I'm yeah. sure if you look at it closely, you'll have like a little bit of a pop. And I like the wheels too. They're like the old bvs style mesh this is like that very is. authentic very oem plus i like it this is exactly how i would like mine to look in real life pretty much that's yeah, dude. actually hurt, hurting my soul <laughs> looking at this thing yeah man that should be the key then, the uh, you need oh dude don't uh, my plan right now is win the lottery mm -hmm. or get a million subscribers on youtube yeah sub up by first <laughs> yeah yeah i feel that i feel that and then one detail that i love yeah is you see the steering wheel yeah 
that yellow, yellow chip on it. Yeah, yeah. So it gives you the inclination that this car is actually a driver as well. Because it's Very got like authentic. a little bit of modified steering wheel, but it has the standard yeah. OEM look at the outside. This thing stance is hard as well. Yeah, the stance looks really good. I'm just I'm just so enamored with the paint. I don't think the pictures do it the most justice, but you can see a little bit of the purple in there. I love that. Love that color. Yeah, dude. This glowing. could easily be on Performance VW. Yeah, dude. Uh, magazine front cover. I would give this eight or nine once again out of ten. I don't know. Nah, for it's me, hard. these is, builds are all this, really good. This is getting a ten for me. Yeah, a ten for you. <laughs> Fair enough, dude. This yeah, thing's dude. sick. So, all right, next one, interesting choice. Splizu, by the way, shout out to him. He's one of my members on YouTube. Love you, dude. Thanks for your support. Um, Let's go. This is a Mustang from Hot Wheels Unleashed, but this thing has, I guess you could do custom liveries in Hot Wheels Unleashed. So this is a like 2015 or that gen Mustang with like an RB26 like sticker on top, which is actually really cool. I don't know if this is something- When like, I first saw this, I was like, yeah. damn, there's engine swaps in that game? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We spent eight <laughs> hours on this livery. That's insane. The amount of detail there with yeah, I read the, into it that I'm like, oh, it makes the sense. The valve now. cover, okay. and he's got okay. So I guess that's the intake manifold, and then there's the exhaust going to the turbo. Don't really know how the routing of all that works, but I'm sure something's working. There. Something's working there. That's so sick. I didn't even know you could like make liveries like that. That's that really reminds me cool. of. Uh, Tokyo Drift. Yeah, man. RB26 powered Mustang. Definitely Tokyo yeah. Drift inspiration there. I like the Japanese text where it would have said Mustang and then the carbon fiber. That's sick, dude. I'm oh, going to give him a 10 out of something. 10 just for that freaking livery. The fact that it took him eight hours to make that and it captures that much detail. That's like uh, next level push. dedication. If 10 out of 10 for 10 sure. 10 without a doubt. Yeah, man. <laughs> next up, Kaza Q Ford LTD High Rider Golden Spirit using the Virgo Classic Custom. Gold low ride still on stock wheels with white interior favorite car in gta at this current moment since it's fun to drive that is true this thing is totally saucy at drifting it's really good the only thing that's lacking is a bit is the fitment but that's not really a big deal nah dude it's a low rider it doesn't really as long yeah, as it's I low feel that's that, all that matters that, that actually <laughs> fits the profile yeah know? dude to just have like massively oversized fenders yeah exactly and it's like it's like a big body and the low rider wheels are inherently pretty small, small. at least on most yeah. of the builds i've seen so it kind of makes sense dude this thing's nice I love this gold. Like normally people do like a blue or a purple, but like the gold is a bit more discreet, but it works yeah, really, under, really, really understated, well. Yeah, understated, understated, but overstated. Exactly. It's like a, you don't really see it like from a distance. It's like, oh, it's just any old car. But then you go up to it and you see like the pinstripes and then the, the I think that says Bears logo in the back. All of these cool little lowrider aspects or like even the curb feelers on the sides there. This thing. Yeah, when I, when I first saw this, I definitely thought of that music video was still Dre music video yep yep <laughs> this thing would slap in that video. yeah you could play that in gta too you could just drive around and the thing totally vibe out and play the play a uh, still dry yeah. this if i had nice. a complaint which is not really a complaint but i would have loved if he had one one photo with like the hydraulic spot yeah true true you know, once one, like, one wheel like. in this in the sky for no reason <laughs> Yeah, I think he sent some drifting clips of this thing too. So he's definitely, he's getting his use out of it, which I respect. So yeah, I'm going to give this uh, maybe a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, I think. I think I 9 do. out of 10. I can definitely say that like your subscribers have all have like class, dude. Yeah, man, we got taste. They we all got... submit flipping nice scores. Dude, yeah. So 9 out of 10 for me as 9 well. 9 out of 10, nice. Okay, cool. So next one, this one really caught my eye. Bray and a ZR350 clean stance build with a unique color combo. This color, I I don't know like rx7 this was not like an oem color on rx7s at all but i've seen cars that have this color i think it's a crew color or something i don't know it's it definitely is a crew color but it's like it works so well it doesn't seem like it would work that well <laughs> but this one i really like this this thing is super clean yeah yeah i 100 would would see this car on like the stance nation instagram or something yeah yep. or maybe one of those like car shows where all the cars park inside only yeah yeah for sure you know, like a high quality stance car show mm -hmm. the wing fits it's like a body color wing yeah i mean yeah. it's pretty simple aesthetically but it like just has enough yeah. and especially the color really makes it pop that you wouldn't need to like add anything else to like make it any more like aesthetically crazy you know because the color already does that so i think it's no the... this is like as as clean as it gets pretty yeah, much man, for sure and, and then those the wheels, wheels are those gold wheels yep yep the bbs yeah, so mesh he... inspired yeah played with the like saturation or something because typically the gold doesn't pop that much i think 
Stinka. Yeah, that's true. But it that looks like beautiful a right now. Shot. Yeah, beautiful yeah, build. It looks I'm beautiful. gonna give this like a nine or a ten out. Of, probably a ten out of ten. This thing's super I sick. I think I think I'm with you there. Yeah, Z10 Brit. He's got a Dinka RT3000 clean stance build. I keep in my JDM garage, throwing some low grips or stance, and it makes it a really fun drift car. Can attest to that. This is one of the best drift cars in the game. This green, love this green. I don't know. What do you think? Uh well, firstly, when I saw this car, it's like 100 percent not my first wheel choice yeah that but, was the first thing i noticed the wheels aren't the fact really that my he's, thing the fact that he's done it yeah it really works as well yeah that's true <laughs> you know I, mean? I think that the chrome the chrome kind of fits and it's like it's it, it, it works dude. it it does work yes. i think it's like it's discreet enough because it's got like a nice like subtle green yeah. and like the chrome isn't like it's not like super like in your face so i think just because it's so subtle like it works you know yeah i don't know i would have gone see, for like yeah. a different set of wheels for sure but like these still like yeah. work. like they don't look bad but it's that's like my biggest problem though i always yeah. like take what they take the safe route yeah yeah like, true. Ah, i gotta put on g37s so already nothing else true, you know true but this this is nice man this is something you won't like you won't see often i like it and it's just extremely simple as well mm -hmm. it's pretty i mean he's still got the stock soft top and like stock yeah. like s2000 cr wing. inspired wing yeah yeah it's simple very realistic clean. yeah it gets the job done it's really realistic yeah. no but for this build i think i'd give this like an eight out of ten. Oh. Definitely, dude. Yeah, Definitely. I think it's solid eight. Pretty good. Yeah, I like it. It's just like, it's just unique, mm -hmm. like simple enough. All right. This one's a meme submission. Um, <laughs> Reverie, Chevrolet, C10, Stepside, first whip for real in Rainbow Six Siege. Nice. He See, actually made this a This is why I like one. the fact that you <laughs> opened up the, the submissions to any game. Yeah. Because this yeah. is like, you know, it's not that, something you're ever going to see. Exactly. Like, it's like somebody who's <laughs> really willing to test me on that. They're like, yeah, I'm going to drop a Rainbow Six Siege screenshot in here. Last bucket, this thing. He hasn't ran yeah. in 30 years. Yeah, no, he made a he actually like, he made a really good submission. I think it's one of the last ones he got. That was like his oh, main okay. One. So we'll get to that. That one's a banger. Um, Brave one in the crew two. This guy plays the crew a lot. I think the last rate my right he also submitted a something from the crew two. This is the Camaro SS Rally Cross Edition. That's kind of cool. One one of the the police vehicles that he has. Okay, that makes sense because I think last time he submitted a Corvette police car, which was sick. Um, that's rarely used as in his an off road vehicle, which I got the inspiration from the Camaro. I don't see a lot in the Crew 2. I call it the Dominator. Nice. A little, uh, reminds me GTA of the Mustang and GTA. Yeah. <laughs> but this thing's tough, man. I don't yeah, know. I love those lights. It looks like a little toyish to me, but like, it's still badass. Like the wheels, yeah. the wheels look like Hot Wheels kind of wheels almost. Like they have the red line around Very them. Very small. Yeah. Very small. Yeah. But it looks cool. I like this like aggressive wide body. I don't know if that's something like he optionally put on or if that's just something that comes with the Rallycross edition, uh, but we'll never know because we're never gonna play this game true true but still this is unique he submits these police cars and somehow he makes them look good and also like the green with the white looks really cool too especially for like an off-road build it kind of matches with the surroundings a bit better too so yeah, just for that i'm gonna give it like, in the dirt yeah yeah i'm gonna give it like an eight or a nine out of ten this thing's really cool solid eight out of ten cool. sick ride yeah man crew two hope to see more of that in the future these things are cool all right next up smoking he's got the links which is the car rx drift RX version Eta. of the rx8 yep it's a build i made when i was bored went for a show car ish build also looks kind of hot boy inspired too always wanted the rx8 to look good there's a lot going on here he's got like this uh, aggressive yeah, this body is kit. like 100 like formula d style if you ask yeah, me yeah yeah it's like it's formula definitely d. it reminded me of mad mike straight away yeah it reminds me of that but also mixed with like the like the low style like japanese like with the livery especially with like the paint or the the purple color with the stars and stuff kind of gives me that old like 90s inspiration uh, yes yes i see yeah it now. i would have liked to i don't know he's kind of halfway between those looks not a really yeah, big fan of the wheel fitment especially in the rear like there's a little bit of tire exposed there not yeah sure not a fan lugs. of those spike things either yeah not, are those not a fan of those, the uh, lug or the lug nuts the spiked lug nuts or something yeah like but that. i mean that kind of goes for the over the top vibe though yeah yeah it fits yeah. with the vibe he was going for but it's just yeah. not the vibe i would have chose for a build like this this wing yeah, too I, mean, I feel like if he did the body kit and stuff up front and had let like old 90s style livery i do like a like a ducktail or something to kind of complement that but that or the wing just needs to be like 
twice the size. True, true. Make yeah. it massive. Go big or go home. <laughs> yeah. I like this purple though. This is like metallic purple. Yeah. Love I that. like those stars. Yeah, it really pops. The stars look sick. And this guy, I know I think he makes liveries for himself because he's posted some other Karx builds. So if he made this himself, super creative. I think you I think you kind of have to make him yourself unless you have the Kino mod for Karx. So oh, respect if he did them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If he did it himself, respect, because that's a really cool idea with the lines and stuff. So yeah. yeah that's a lot of work, man. That looks looks good. Um yeah, it's in terms of like styling and stuff, I like it. I think it could have been a little bit better. So I'd give it like probably like a seven and a half or an eight out of ten. Yeah, I'm probably around there as well. I mean yeah. uh, firstly, Oryx eight is not my yeah, true. cup of tea per se. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> but it's, I mean it's a nice car, but I'm not like yeah. actively trying to go for one cool no another another cool car x build i think there are a few of them all right next we have yorozu maziora i don't know if i'm saying that right please let me know um Close this enough. Is a, yeah this is the rh5 mod for gta 5 so this is the lg retro but with a slightly reworked body um and uh -huh. this guy also yorozu check him out his instagram's there he's insanely talented with like making body kits and stuff he always sends me like works in progress in the server he's really talented and he knows what he's doing currently undergoing a makeover car dress up is fully done by me so he made this body kit himself taking Gee, inspiration from was. street style cars back in the day and the few that are present today i didn't know that at first i kind of glossed over that but like now that i know that this is like an instant 10 out of 10 like not even oh, like the build different. itself i think it looks sick like this thing looks so yeah. cool i love the primary it's like a like a greenish blue almost like it has a lot of depth to it and yeah I don't know. at first I, I thought that this was like secondary bumpers yeah yeah <laughs> but now i realize that this is not you, you can't get this right yeah no you can't and it's like oh okay good <laughs> it's, it's crazy dude and like i don't know if he modeled the engine bay too but it looks different like you see the turbos there yeah and, there's like, no way that you, you, don't, you don't see you don't see that detail in yeah. uh, vanilla and he's got proper te37s like actual yeah. te37s when it's i see this clean. stuff i'm like i definitely want to play with like mods and stuff like yep that yep this makes me want to hop like, on just so cool yeah this makes me want to like get some of his mods so i can like put them on my own cars i don't even know if that's possible but if it works yorozu if you want to do that let me know because that'd be freaking sick but instant 10 out of 10 the oh, body kit man. like nice b i don't know if it's a bn inspired kit but it's like the skirts give me the bn vibe i don't know about the bumper and all but i love it this yeah that's so massive cool. and even the interior too like the the bright blue seats and you see the tack and he's got the yeah. um window stickers perfect yeah, yeah. perfect this uh, thing's just like very authentic tuna, tuna vibe yeah yeah this thing's sick i love it proper like i would love, I I would love that parked in my but... garage yeah dude <laughs> Oh it's definitely God. the midway. Yeah, yeah. Between like a missile and like a streeter. Yeah, yeah. Automatic 10 out of 10. That thing's so dope. I can't, st I'm going to keep pouring over this like the entire time because I love the color and everything else about it. So I'm just going to move on. <laughs> but yeah, 10 out of 10. Easy. Cool. Some Next GT up. Sport in the house. Yeah, man. This is Pattis. Shout out to him. He's also a YouTube member. Thank you so much, dude. But this is a um, Mark III Supra 3.0 GT Turbo um, A88. I don't know what that means. I think that's 1988. I'm gonna go with that as well. Yeah, I just put some random stuff that came to my mind at that moment. 570 horsepower engine. Jeez. Hard to control, but it rewards you with a big smile on your face when you perfectly drift it. Okay, cool. So this is like big a smile on your face car. when you don't put it into the wall. Yeah, exactly. When you don't crash it. <laughs> Dude, GT Damn, drift, looks nice. or GT Sport drifting looks so much fun. I'd love to try that one. Well, I'm not gonna buy a PlayStation, but it's fun to dream. <laughs> I almost fell into that trap for like GT7. Yup, yup. I was like, oh, I need to get one, I need to get one. And I was like, ah. This thing <laughs> I love sick. that. Uh, go back to the other photo. Let's go back to the I love one. that TRD sticker on the yeah, headlight. Yeah, TRD thing. sticker on the headlight. That's uh, a nice that, little that, touch that there. Just, that just that does it for me. I like the OEM style. I can't really see the wheels. Would have liked like a slightly brighter picture so I can see some of the finer details. Cause like this picture's too dark, and this picture you. This it's like smoke. All hazy because of the tire smoke, but it looks like he's having fun. Um, I'm sure there's beautiful wheels on this yeah. car. <laughs> there's like this black bumper, it kind of fits. It's like, it might, I think it would have looked a little cleaner, just like one solid color, but like the black bumper, I guess, also works if you're going uh, for like think, a OEM style. That's like a standard, yeah, like a standard okay. style bumper. Okay, yeah. okay. So that's probably all that came out. This yeah, photo this thing, too this thing is so is pretty. <laughs> so pretty, so yeah. pretty. That sunset, beautiful. But no, nah, this build's cool. I like it. It's pretty simple. Like there's I, I, maybe a little bit clearer picture so we can see some of the finer details, but still, I give this like a solid seven or eight out of 10 for sure. Pretty clean. Seven out of like 10. 
fine. Yeah. Without a doubt. All right. Next up, flipping burgers. <laughs> sandwich Vivo. That's a cool gamer tag. <laughs> Obey <laughs> 10 burger up. sandwich Vivo. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, this was before the 10F wide body dropped because we're I got to this pretty late, which I feel bad about. But still, I think the 10F, the original one, looks way better than the wide body variant. Hot take, but that's just my opinion. Anyway. Uh, so that's a lukewarm take. Obey supercar the 10F. Well, not a hit with general customers has gained a large following in the Los Santos street scene. Yeah, this um, man got a story behind the car. Yeah, inspired by the LMS GT4 with design cues from Liberty Walk, ready to put on a show. I like nice. this, dude. I kind of mess with this ducktail. This ducktail looks kind of tough. Yeah, that, that's standard, right? Yeah. I, oh, no. I don't know the if that's wing. standard. I think the active the arrow standard and then up. you add the ducktail yeah. on top. Oh, so. then that still works. I don't even know rocks up with that detail. Yeah, this is an <laughs> interesting color. It's like... Full carbon fiber. Yeah, the carbon fiber, like the canards in the front and then the roof and then the vents on the sides. I like all the carbon accents. This color yeah. also, I don't know. First choice. Taking advantage of those wheels as well with those lines. Yeah, exactly. To I match think the, the, lines, the skirts they match and the, the bumper pearl. and stuff yep. like that. Yep. But this color, it's like a it's like a gold almost with some like bright yellowish greenish pearl. It, it looks like you went gold to the yeah, and yellow yeah. pearlescent. At least so. in this in that like angle. I don't know. Not my first choice for color. Yeah, but it like looks in kind terms of, of like the way like stylish. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know. Everything else about it I like. Like I like all the, the styling cues yeah. and like the ducktail and the little trim around the wheels and the skirts and stuff. Massive grill. Up. Yeah, massive. Looks hardcore. Huge R8 grill. Reminds me of a Lexus or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. This thing's sick. I don't know. I give this yeah. like a... I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10 for that color choice. I'm, I'm leaning towards 7 as well. Yeah. No, still a really it's cool It's just build. a nice... It's a nice supercar. Yeah. And you don't need it's... the wide body to make it look good either. That's the key. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. The wide dope. body... I'm 50-50 about. Mm -hmm. I don't not like it. I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of right in the middle. I don't know. I haven't really paid much attention to it because I don't have the money for it. But <laughs> all right. So next up, we have Cryogenics or Flashes Smashes on Social Club. Need for Speed Heat, as you said. Wasn't expecting to see that. Nice E30 M3. He's a big fan of Kid Cudi. So I wanted to try a half black and half white car. I also got the inspiration from ASAP Rocky's car from the Need for Speed Unbound. Okay. Interesting. I've never seen a car build being inspired by the song or by a song in general so that's kind of cool i think that's the song by kid kelly black and white i don't know i could be totally off, hey but... my man I, that's not something i can comment on yeah i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> i don't know man kid cuddy underrated artist nowadays he doesn't get the attention Definitely. his music deserves but still this thing's tough i like this i like the black and white like perfectly down the center there and then yeah the this is wheels, hardcore I don't... yeah the wheels work with this livery perfectly yeah i think the the whole like mismatch like black white and then mismatching the black and white wheels kind of fits and the fact there's different wheels yeah turbo yeah, fans in the front style yep. the turbo it's, fans it, i would have liked to see nice. all the way around and then maybe do like white wheels on one side and black wheels on the other i don't know if that's even a thing in your speed oh dude but... that that would be too much yeah yeah that would be too much fun <laughs> No, but this thing's sick. I like it. I like the. It's like the, I, I like I think it this a is lot. The tandem wide body. Yeah, the inspiration is really cool too. This is like a very unique take on a build like this. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, the only thing I don't like is like the game Need for Speed Heat. True. I like True. actually True. try to play it. Yep, yep. And I, I, the the cars actually don't turn. Yeah, no, I, I don't know it. how anybody plays that. No, but just the build itself for this, I give this like a solid eight. So ah, it's getting a seven from me. Yeah, yeah, fair mm. enough, dude. I like it. All right, next up, Nick. You've met him. Jen co-funded on Instagram. Instagram, uh, Turismo Classic game. Wow, aggressive. If obvious. Aggressive. <laughs> Recreated one uh, of the what two emerald green F40s owned by the Sultan of Brunei or Brunei. Probably one of my favorite Ferrari F40s ever. The, oh, oh you you're telling me the that there's only two emerald green. Two F40s. emerald green, man. I didn't even know this that, but that's a nice so fact. Sick. I love this. I that's love nice he, Nick. Always has these like really cool like like very obscure inspiration but like nonetheless he executes it perfectly like he's on point with the crew colors and stuff and the pictures too this yeah, color is so nice he had some killer balls in the past so yeah, you always man. know when he comes up with something it's yep. going to be like unique original yep. and it's not like it's like you're just copying a real life build like he he does
does it in such a well executed way that it's not like it's not like you're building a fast and furious car because everybody does that it's like he took the time to look into this specific car and he's like yeah, yeah i can do this in gta and he did it and he freaking nailed it i love this color and, and i swear that nobody yeah, or very green. little people know that there's two emerald green f40s yeah exactly but just that fact alone is yeah. like oh shows how much he cares shows how much he <laughs> loves the car which is dope he puts in he puts in the effort and it pays off in a massive way easy yeah, this man is 10. getting a 10 out of 10 with yeah doubt. for sure this thing's and we all love an f40 we all love an f40 especially one yeah. like it's not a standard red one either way it's a beautiful car but this like green i love this green yeah. it's a really and the fact green. that it actually came from the factory yeah exactly with that color is just insane wild all right another need for speed heat build this time with Rai guy uh, 721 fair lady 240z another stance build funny anime plate completes it in my opinion fair enough but the stance from what i can see yeah I, it's, it's hard dude, it looks like uh r35 gtr wheels something like that i don't know if those yeah. are specifically r35 rims but like they're in yeah. that style so like kind it's of not like a, totally yeah. foreign to this kind of car and it's like exactly. it's more modern too so it fits you know yeah no this it's looks like cool. a, a resto mod blue. pretty much it's got like the it looks like an oil cooler up in the front there not over the top like tiktok sad boy stance build it's like a proper like i took my time with this and i wanted to make it look hardcore and i did so oh, dude i would very clean anything for a like an rb20 six swapped yeah man 240 z yeah that's, dude. That's, that's, these these things are sweet man yeah i love that blue i Beautiful really like course. this blue it's like not too loud but it's just enough extra and he's got the anime yeah. plate in the back there yeah man this yeah. is like a solid 9 out of 10 i like this i would have preferred yeah. just leaving the hood on to complete the whole clean aesthetic but i can see why he left it off you know yeah it's kind of in your face you know yeah <laughs> Yeah, definitely a tough build. I like it. All right. Yeah. Nine out of 10. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Nine out of 10. 8.9 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is a car from a game I was not expecting. Car Mechanic Simulator by Brendan EK9 or Pokey Player. 1968 Tempest Magnum, which is the game's version of the Dodge Daytona. Yeah, the Haven't played this game in a while. Decided to hop on last night and remembered this build. 600 horsepower supercharged V8 that makes over 1,100 foot pounds of torque. That's an interesting balance. 600 horsepower uh, and 1,100 sure foot pounds of torque. I'm not sure how we're getting. I'm not sure how we get those numbers. Must have a, must have a very Unless it's like a large diesel or ratio something. gearbox or something. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> this thing's nice. I don't, not really feeling the color. Gonna be completely honest about that. It's very bland. Yeah, yeah. It I was almost matches like, the color of the sand. Yeah, maybe that's like the vibe he was going for because it does look like almost like a beater kind of build because he's got no hood uh, on it. But like, yeah, I think of a super bird, like a blue or a green or an orange, not like a tan. You, you like must this. remember that this game, like, he might be at that point where he hasn't painted it yet. True, true. And yeah, that yeah, might so be like a, a primer progress. or something. Yeah. I like the blower though. The blower and the wheels and stuff, it fits really well. I like yeah, it. Yeah, definitely like gives me a Dominic Toretto's. Yep, yep, for it sure vibe a little bit doing like mile long wheelies and massive donuts and stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah there man. we go yeah and another thing that i looked over initially the fixed headlights kind of work like i kind of like those fixed headlights oh um, yeah the original normally doesn't they, have they'd them, be right? pop-ups yeah but the okay, fixed ones i okay. think look, it it gives it enough of a distinct look i think so yeah interesting that's kinda, like, vibe. work in progress i give this like a seven six or a seven definitely yeah i say yeah. a seven dude the first time i saw a plymouth superbird in real life I, yeah like, you just like have that massive crush when you see yeah. that Yeah. Exactly. Yep. I was like, oh, wow, what a cool, cool. Yeah. It's got to get one of those. It's crazy. And then you're like, oh, wait, they're like a quarter million dollars now. <laughs> All right. Next up, Gran Turismo 7 this time, not GT Sport. Lulu YGHBT. He's very this consistent thing is with these. Hard. Street tuned Toyota Celica GT4 makes 463 horsepower. It's a Renault Alpine color called Summit Blue. I remember ah, this being yeah, like yeah. a I default this color. color. Like if you buy an, like a Renault Alpine or something like that and Forza, yeah, like it a, has this blue. A1 10 or something like yep, that yep yep yeah volk racing vrg2s on 16 inch this builds sick i've always the loved funny thing the is that this, this yeah this car wasn't that expensive dude yeah i think it's like you know it's actually like affordable yeah man budget banger this i wonder sick. if they like, made a lot of them or something because it's like, such amazing cars the gt4s i've been seeing them for sale more here in the states like from like yeah. exported from japan there's a lot of them popping up recently but yeah if i build one i don't know if I in would, real life it would look like, like this yep oh, yeah. yep this color works cage so well. wheels brakes yep everything like, is very, just perfect yeah. very nice like not crazy track build great street car but just enough extra extra to give it that, yeah. that edge on the track and stuff. I love this. Deliver the groceries real quick. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> 
I did it. What he said earlier on was uh, in GT7, you can put other manufacturer colors onto your car. Yeah. That is cool. I didn't yeah, know you man. could do that. Yeah. No, easy nine or 10 out of 10 for sure. This thing's so pretty. Um, yeah. Definitely yeah. a solid nine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next up, we've got Black 33. GTA 5 has got a Prosian T20, uh, which I haven't seen in a long time. Respect. My first supercar I bought has always been one of my favorites. This is version three after I decided to finally change the setup. Such an iconic car for V3. I went for something you would see ripping on the highway nice little cut up traffic kind of build everything from the sound to the active arrow and all the curves is amazing we'll always have good things to say about the t20 nice what is this Mc i'm trying to larry yeah man i'm trying to make sense of this color scheme first of all this picture is beautiful love this shot with the sun passing by one Just, of the buildings yeah, you see the active the arrow that's so pretty but looking at some of the more finer details i'm kind of trying to decide if that color is like a brown or a black i can't really just it looks i guess a little bit more black or like a yeah, very discreet like... dark brown i don't I don't know. I almost get a wine red, but I might be colorblind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That could be it too. I'm not sure. It could be like the lighting when he took the shots. Very it's nice, understated. Discreet. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like super it's understated. Like, it's not like a normal P1, like in your face, yeah. like bright orange, like pick me, pick me. It's like very subtle and very clean. But at the I same like time, these... though, it's it's still a McLaren P1, so exactly. you can't yeah. really be understated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This thing's clean. I think if I modified it, if I had a T20 in the game, it would probably look like this one. Yeah, man. These wheels too. I like these wheels. Um, they're like just enough extra, and like I think these are painted like a dark bronze this color a little bit they kind of add a little bit more contrast with the rest of the the body which i think is a nice compliment too yeah with the, with the sun it's them you can see them pop a bit more yeah 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 man solid eight or nine out of ten for this one for sure there's not a lot you can do to this car but i think with the paint and the wheels combo he pretty much nailed it yeah definitely i'm gonna give it an eight as well all right next up we have the boy stance uk first submission to rate my ride welcome sir anis lg retro custom wanted to create a build inspired by 90s toge racers tried to go for some wheels that go let look like old SSRs, the SSR mesh, nice. And added a simple livery to complement the car. For the photo, I tried to create an effect similar to old disposable cameras. So he's going full like 90s aesthetic, fuzzy camera look. This thing's so sick. I think I, he's probably showed this build off before. I think he might have sent a picture in the Discord or maybe in his own server because he also has a channel. But like this thing. This is in, also a vanilla livery. Yeah, this is a vanilla livery. And I think oh, man. it's got to be, I think this was the livery that has like white accents and i think he matched the primary oh. color with yeah uh, so it's like kind of hidden huh yeah exactly so it's that's a but, really really cool yeah. take on this and i think it's the actually helps perfect it because like better. just those those threes by themselves exactly exactly just sit like perfectly and you can see it too i think this is the redwood livery for this car because you can see cigarettes yeah. there yeah uh, in in that regard it doesn't make a lot of sense but like the number threes and everything and like it's a discreet kind of like race inspired livery that thing that's yeah. so no cool. i would uh, this that's, looks like the, your perfect like a uh, weekend racer type of thing yeah man yeah like proper on the number. toge car yeah this Oof. thing's so hard i love it easy 10 out of 10 just because of like the creativity with like yeah. matching the livery uh, the, and the how wheels it is well. yeah just perfect good know? job stance 10 out of 10 yeah, buddy no. this thing's so cool 10 out of 10 definitely all right next Un unknown horizon gta 5 um it's yosemite that's it says is a low truck that's clean fair enough plain and simple i think he executed oh. that clean look pretty well nice, i definitely uh, have fantasies of having an old truck like this that looks yeah, exactly like this. Like, like an old like, big oh, body man. truck yeah, yeah. slammed to the ground on air jeez Yup, the chrome dukes wheels. I like this red too. It's like almost like a not it. I don't know. Maybe the lighting's a little off, like a candyish red or like a brighter red. With all the chrome, it fits so yeah, well. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's this will like you cruise with this thing, like everybody will just bow down to you pretty much. Especially yep, in the yep. Yeah, man. Guess the job done, dude. Yeah. Very clean. I give this like a solid eight or a nine. I love that color. It just pops so much. Yeah, definitely. I'm giving also like a say nine out of ten just yeah. for what he's going for. I mean, you, yeah, you can't exactly. get that wrong. You, know? you can't yep. get it wrong. Thank you, unknown. Nice build. Uh, next up, first BF Weeble custom that we've seen by Insanity Wolf. Just a rusty apocalyptic build. This is the build that reminds me a lot of the one they showed in the trailer initially, and everybody's like, "What the hell is that car?" And I think he kind of nailed the look of like the like Mad Max Hot Rod inspired build. This this thing's so cool. It's so badass. Like you can't deny I that. Mean, considering, I, like, thankfully, I actually I, I've watched the Mad Max movie. Okay, okay. And this like perfect, especially with those spikes on the roof and all that like extra stuff the spikes oh, on the roof it. the skull yeah, yeah. It, oh, 
yeah. the exhaust and even the interior yeah. too like he really went all out with matching that aesthetic and i think he nailed it no perfect yeah yeah man this this, this this could be in the next movie yeah man this build's cool again like not my personal taste but like he went all out with it and i think he nailed the look perfectly so i give like a 9 out of yeah. 10 easy i like and i like the fact that uh, his character has that mask on that's also nails the realism to the movie yeah those this guys all so have like cool. mask on for the most part yeah man easy 9 out of 10 i like this it's starting to yeah, grow man. on me the more that i look at it and the more i look at the amount of detail that he put in yeah all right i'm oh. um this is literally a hot face anything, emoji yeah. <laughs> yeah. blows everything out of the water smoky always has bangers uh fister comma s2 rough times call for rough measures nice nice a roof Mr. sorry Mr. roof not rough the got himself in your discord server yeah man that's crazy smoky's in the discord wild all right japanese uh, automobile with german roots makes a great example for that saying in fact this particular model much like any other uh, rough weld custom or roof weld custom is a unique one-off which was built for yours truly okay kind of playing into the whole like smoky Smoky Nagata uh, persona. Powered by twin turbo flat six with enough horses to rip off the tarmac. Comet S2 sports a dark, strong lavender purple 19 and 20 inch staggered champagne gold giga mesh rims on Fukuru racing tires, all wrapped up by the unique trademark body kit of Rough Weld. Once it rises to the occasion, you too will rise. I'm sold. <laughs> if somebody gave me that sales pitch in real life, I don't care how much it costs, I would I would buy whatever he's saying. But then uh, also dude. you take a look at it. Oh my god, this is so clean. Uh, dude, I I have a, I mean, you know I have a massive crush yep, on all yep. WB. So this I mean so this pretty. is instant 10 out of 10. Instant, yeah. And this is definitely... it looks very similar to his first build ever. Mm -hmm. Kira Nakai. His first ever build was also this purple one with the double wing and stuff like that. That's so he actually sweet. races it like personally. That's awesome. I think I've seen pictures yeah. of that car too. That's yeah, so no, it's, sick. It's ridiculous. It's ludicrous. Truly authentic styling here. The exposed turbos look so cool. Big yeah, that whale looks like tail spoiler. Motor. Yeah, but nonetheless, no, I mean, it hits hard. so hardcore. I love this. Like, this is proper Rao Huelt big riff styling. I love it. Yeah, and with this character as well. Yeah, he's got the hoodie too. Yeah, that's perfect. so sick. All love he needs is a thing. cigarette in his hand. Yeah, done man. That. Yep. <laughs> easy 10 out of 10 and then he does like yeah 200 miles an hour on public freeways and then gets banned from a country <laughs> big smoky nagata energy right there definitely one way to describe this is the hot face emoji for oh sure. yeah <laughs> I, I overuse that emoji so much yep, yep. all right cool next up daniel shout out daniel he makes my outro song hear the nine click great guy um but anyway fr legends another one i wasn't expecting to see nissan sylvia s15 with the rocket bunny kit Cyberpunk inspired livery I made from scratch that contains over 140 livery pieces. I spent way too much time with this. I wanted to post something, but I am not home to play GTA, so F it, we ball. <laughs> um, yes, this is max in game graphics, but it's a mobile game and DC downgrades the quality as well. Still, like you can pretty easily see this thing's sick. I Man. used to like really grind FR Legends, but like I did not know there was this depth of customization. He even did like the outline of the body i don't know if that's something they add but like he definitely yeah. added these lines and the bolts and all that stuff himself that's so cool that i looks, love the yellow too like, the yellow and the black also, it like what works with the delivery it's got like yep. a circuit board yeah the cyberpunk you know? inspiration so that kind of goes with it this thing's so cool and even the interior too i forgot that there was interior customization in this game i need to play fr legends more even like the the toe strap on the front there this thing's yeah. so clean and the you pictures look really good too with the s15 yeah man the this interior you see the handbrake yeah that's this a cool like brick. Truly authentic. I love this. Easy 10 out of 10 for this one, too. Oh, yeah. I like this. The amount of work I you love put that in the duck, delivery. The ducktail. Ducktail, yeah. Nice oh, big that, Rocket Bunny that, ducktail. Yeah, that, that thing always, those Rocket Bunny ducktails, I see those things like <laughs> i might change the wheel color i don't store. know maybe the I, I think the white wheels kind of work at first i was like yeah i don't know if they work but i think the white wheels are starting to grow on me it's like good contrast uh, and it's not i mean i probably interface. just like to see it in a color yeah but yeah exactly but still this works so well easy 10 out of 10 i love this and the fact that it's fr legends too <laughs> like i was just, not dude, i might go to, to the play that. store and get this game yeah right dude now. it's I've free it i used to grind this game hard we do tandems dude 101 uh, megabytes Oh, you're set, dude. <laughs> 
All right. Next up, Arca. Just us. Yeah, dude. Blast from the boss. Yeah. Need for, need for speed, speed payback. payback. Audi R8 V10 Plus 2018. I've always had a fascination for the design of the R8. For me, it will always be an icon in supercar history. It's a bit underrated, but yet you can have so much fun and power with the screaming V10. True. I think this is the Lamborghini V10 as well. Um, yeah, definitely. Yep. There's no color. Or there's no cars like it truly for me and street car to have for sure. It's bad. It makes 867 horsepower and it's still an A. It's like fully built Lamborghini v10 this thing's sick i love this blue nice oh, little dude, crowned yeah. logo shout out crowned r8 for me is uh dream a dream yep I yep do anything for an r8 yeah so this is instant 10 out of 10. i like this. and these I wheels this, it's hre's wheels too, I, the, uh, I can't really tell it looks like hre the motion blur but yeah they might be hre's or something and then but, the bags on it yeah exactly I mean, like in real really, life probably not yeah but exactly that looks so good though that fitment with the bags yeah it's yep. like perfect so yeah. with the bags oh, too sitting pretty. that's nice man. i love this blue that's so nice easy i'm gonna give this a nine out of ten i think a nine ah, out of ten is, is i'll go ten out of ten ten out of ten that's fair enough perfect good dream car to have exactly man all right this is the very last one this is reverie so he made the submission earlier of the rainbow six siege but this is oh, this is his real one yep okay so this is a modded dink adjuster classic and gta i've yet another ride to share i was stuck between an s15 and rx7 to post but eventually i said screw it and went with a supra fair enough fitted with a street styled notoriety while still keeping the overall look of the car chill at least on the outside okay so he's packing some power but this thing oh man she is bad she bad she, she is bad <laughs> that is a nice number plate dude this thing dude, i saw the score yeah. And I was like, I think it just don't look this good. Mm -hmm. Now I see it. Somewhat. Dude, the modded <laughs> version of this car, I I think they changed quite a few things. I think the front lip's different than the one we have in the game. The whole front bumper actually just looks way different. He's got no, like this aggressive nice. vented hood. The wing looks way better than it does in vanilla yeah. GTA. The the front and rear arches as well. Looks yep. something's going on there. Yeah, they look like a little pulled almost. Yeah. Like a little bit no, wider. Nice looking car. And he's got, I forget for the life of me what these wheels are called, but I, I love these wheel this is like yes, dream if this was like the vanilla version of the dink adjuster classic me and rockstar would be on good terms <laughs> but yeah they should they should i mean they map they probably will yeah. Uh, mark my words they're probably yeah. gonna come out with hsw mods for their car they might i don't know they they go back and they update customization kind of at random now so if they went yeah. back and added more mods for this car i wouldn't be surprised i'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 or probably a 10 out of 10 it's so pretty yeah I'm, go, I'm, I'm sticking to probably like a 9.9 .9 out of 10 yeah man 9.9 9. i got no complaints Damn. i got no complaints well that's it that was i'm not even gonna try to count how many submissions that was but that was all of them all right so favorites oh man we had so many all right it was nice nice love the s15 Smokies is up there man for a favorite yeah no that massive wing yeah. stance is Stance cool. uk it was came pretty out cool. pretty hard as well lulu's that salica is nice i don't know if it's one of my favorites though nix is up there too that yeah, ferrari that is F, up there f40 modded r32 is king this, oh man it's so hard to decide we for me, so many good ones <laughs> i'm gonna go with the mk1 you're gonna go with that mark one gti yeah oh, yeah fair that enough dude is, that thing is just like it's the pellet yeah too good and you're a big volkswagen guy so it makes sense now you have something to reach for you have something you have a uh, some inspiration for your own build my favorite favorite i gotta give it to Smokey. he put in so much work with that and like the wheels and like all of the work he put into the build and like getting it all right the the thing i find great about these kinds of builds especially Smokey's, because he always does a good job of it is like anybody on the outside would be like why the hell would you like that like that looks so weird but like Smokey really knows and cares about the culture behind these cars and like executes on it so well especially Especially in a game like GTA where you don't think that'd be the case, the fact that like you can do that in GTA, like he put in the effort to get as close as possible and still put his own spin on it. I, I love that. Like just that yeah. story, I guess, behind no, 100%, it, it man, gives because, it 10 like, out of 10. Sadly, 99.9% so. uh, .9 of us are yep. probably not going to own an RWB Porsche. Yep, yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah i see this build i'm just like living out the fantasies exactly this thing's so tough my favorite for sure good job Smokey. but yeah dude that was it for the submissions thank you guys so much for watching this episode of rate my ride in the future i want to do more collaborations with other creators too hopefully getting some more people on to help me rate some rides just like top secret did with me duran or top secret r35 thank you so much for thank your you. time everybody who's watching go subscribe to him he makes some awesome content he makes gta content aceto content whatever car content 
content you could possibly think of he'll probably have it in some form on his channel so go run him up and uh thank yeah. you yeah dude so that was really everything me and top secret had to say about all of these subscriber car builds as i mentioned i really do like this collaboration format and i do hope to continue linking up with other friends and creators to make future episodes if you guys have any suggestions for themes we should follow in the future people i should collab with or really any other ideas related to the rip my ride series and feel free to let me know because i had an awesome time making this episode as always thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel and have an amazing day Thank you.